Now let's calculate the amount of energy released during the fission of uranium with a neutron. So uranium with a neutron it becomes unstable and is giving barium and krypton. So this is how the reaction is with the release of neutrons and energy. Over here uranium will be having uh, the mass as 235.045733 atomic mass unit. The neutron will be having the value of 1.008665 AMU. So the total mass of the reactants is given by this one plus this one. So this is your reactants. So this is your reactants. So adding these two, you'll be getting 236.054398. Now, and this is the product. This is obtained from the mass of barium that's 140.9177 and mass of krypton is this one 91.8854 and mass of the neutrons is given by 3 into 1.008665 so we got this as the product so the total mass of the product is given by adding 1 2 and 3 you got three persons adding these three you'll be getting the final output as this one this is the total mass of the product so the mass defect is given by total mass of the reactants minus the total mass of the product so getting the values you'll be getting the answer as 0 0.225303 amu so as you know that 1 AME is equal to 931 milli, milli electron volt. This is the energy release. So 0 0.22503 into 931 you will be getting 200 milli electron volt. Let's move further on the, the energy released in fission. So he is the great scientist and physicist Mr. Niels Bohr and John A. Wheeler. Explain the nuclear fission process with the help of a liquid drop model. A liquid drop has a spherical shape due to surface tension. You are able to see the liquid drop model. So on applying the external force, the sphere changes into a ellipsoid, which may change into a dumbbell. So you are able to see the ellipsoid and it became a dumbbell shape. When the force is larger, this may break at the narrow ends in two portions into two portions in the same way when the heavier nucleus absorbs a neutron a compound nucleus is formed and is left in an excited state the excitation energy sets up a series of rapid oscillation you are able to see the neutron it becomes a heavier nucleus and forms a compound nucleus here The compound nucleus undergoes a, a distortion from spherical to dumbbell shape. Each portion of the dumbbell shape has a positive charge and one ripples the other. This results in fission and the formation of fission fragments. 